what's up guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and press the notification bell to be notified once i upload any new video for the returning subscribers thank you so much may god bless you so today i have a very interesting topic that i want to talk about um it's a little it's kind of a, it's kind of a shock it's actually i'm going to talk about culture shock in the u.s like culture shock culture shock yeah i thought of doing um the culture shock when i arrived at, in the usa and i i just thought of just doing that video for some people for some people who want to come to the u.s i know everybody has feels like oh my god i want to come to the u.s oh my goodness i i like u.s oh my goodness can someone connect me to come to the u.s oh my goodness people have a lot of dreams and what they want to have in life maybe someone feels like oh me if i go to the u.s my life will change completely and some are oh my goodness what if i go what will happen to me you know when you don't have a family here you're like what will happen to me you have a lot of questions that you ask yourself let's get to the video now we are i want to talk a lot <laughs> um so the first thing that i want i want to talk about culture shock i want to talk about first thing that i saw when i arrived actually when i arrived at the airport that is minneapolis airport i was so shocked like what like everybody had their headphones the airport like people i'm gonna show you people had their headphones some had their airports like i'm just going to show you you know i was like what People had good phones <laughs> you had someone had headphones listening to music and some of them had airports actually this is how the airports looks like i'm um, just gonna show you just connect them automatically to your to your phone and then no this one is the left one i think so i'm like why are people having headphones on <laughs> you know it it's it's actually a shock you're like everybody has a phone if not a phone Someone had headphones listening to music like, guys, I was like, hmm. And there I was having my, my katekno, <laughs> having my katekno. They're like, I, can't, I couldn't even call anyone because I had Kenyan number. I couldn't call anyone. Some of my friends know that because I came with the number and started using it because you can only use it while using Wi-Fi. I don't know where I'm sweating right now. So another culture shock is communication <laughs> oh my goodness Shh. i don't want to talk about this i'm like this is what happened so i when i when i came to the u.s i got my my i started actually driving like teaching myself on how to drive and then i did it for like three weeks four weeks and then um, i'm someone who catch up so easily things so i i am like why don't i do the exams just to get my permit you know when you get your permit you are able to like just drive with someone who has a license inside you know, someone who is experienced inside your car like you can't just drive alone on the road so i'm like yeah i made it i have my i did the exams actually and passed i think i posted it uh i posted it on my status the other phone that i had no this one i don't know if i can find it i'll just put it there if i can find it and if not then have nothing to do yeah so i from there <laughs> communication is coming don't worry so communication i'm talking about when i got my job now my job say say a village girl has arrived from how do you call it from ushago to nairobi like you know your swahili how it is and the swahili that people speak in uh, nairobi is much different from the others so me there me went to me went to my interview i just thank god i told that lady you know 
I had to like defend myself before I start. He start. She starts talk. She starts to talk. I had to defend myself, and I'm like, um, yeah, my name is Emily Momani. I'm 19 years old. At that time, I was 19 because it was March, and my my I turned 20 like June last month. And I was like, oh, my name is Emily. This is how I used to speak. Honestly, this is how I was speaking. Not I used to speak. This is how I was speaking. My name is Emily Momani. I'm 20 years. I'm 19 years. You know. <laughs> I'm 19 years old and I came from Kenya recently and I applied. This is my first job. And that lady's like, wow, you're from Kenya. Wow, how is Kenya? Like we started having that conversation and she was like speaking slowly. She was, she understood where I came from. Like she, she also listened to the way I was talking. I was pronouncing words. She was like, oh, okay. This is how the you know people are experienced. They know how to talk to someone, and it's not easy for them. You find that they are abusing you or wording something bad to you. They, I just like these people here. They are so generous. They are so kind. You know, you know what I mean. For those who are here and for those who are not here, me, I don't know. But I'm just gonna tell you this. I like communication was difficult, but I thank God I got to the job. And then, hmm, now when you you guys went. It w so i started the job and when you guys go maybe for lunch break lunch break you know you get some time to rest and then you have these people are so friendly and everybody's like what they're looking at my hand i'm like what has my hand done like they're looking they're so surprised so i met this lady who was like um 20 no hey oh my god what am i saying 20 this lady was like 70 years old. We we're working together. And she's like, oh, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. You know that accent. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. You can, me, I've never, she told me, I've never met someone from here. And these people are so friendly. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm telling you, this is the environment for those people who are harsh. For those people who think they are rude. You will calm down. You don't have your rudeness is gonna it's not gonna take you anywhere. Guys, the communication was so difficult. Some some of the time I couldn't understand whatever they were saying. I was so I was just seated there like just being there like a ghost. Like you know what I mean? Like I couldn't even speak, I couldn't even ask questions because I was so scared. What are they gonna say about my accent? And most of them can laugh. I don't but they never used to laugh because I used to like keep quiet. If I'm given work, I could like just sit there, do my work and just keep quiet. Like concentrate on the work that I'm given and I find it like that's when I started to learn that I have to be keen on whatever I'm doing because if I make mistakes my supervisor is gonna come, he's gonna talk and talk and talk and I'm like, oh, you're done. And you might find that you have made a mistake, but she'll talk, she'll talk, she'll talk, she'll think that you have understood. Then with time, with time, with time, you maybe just get fired from your work. You know, it's very hard. Like communication, I, I can just, I, I can just explain. Communication was so hard for me. I used to even to cry. After job, go to my room and I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't even get anything. Like, but I thank God I got a, a good supervisor. She's actually the only person who used to understand my English, my African English. Like, <laughs> I thank God for this supervisor. She was so nice. Like, she could just speak one after one word after the other word. She's like, Emily, you have to do this. Okay. Like, a good way. She's not like, I'm pretty sure in Kenya, if you, you're given a job and you don't understand, you don't get it. What's wrong? Like, someone can shout, like, I don't know, come here and be calm. You'll be calm. You'll be taught how to behave and stop shouting anyhow. I've talked about communication. Is it communication the same as language? Yeah, language. Yeah, language is another shock. Some of you have seen my video, my first video that I did on YouTube. The first first the first first videos that i did on youtube if you are keen if you are really keen there's a point i don't know which video there's a point my sister told me emily at least now you have started speaking good english <laughs> i was like i never wanted to post that video but right now is your chance to go check out that video what happened and then you'll know like who this lady has come from 
remote areas in Kenya. <laughs> My sister told me, wow, Emily, I've started speaking good English because I used to feel embarrassed most of the times when I go to work, I'm not getting anything. I come back home, I'm not getting anything. You know, it's it's so bad. Another culture shock that I got. Small talks and smiles. Hey. <laughs> you know, guys, I don't know what, how I'm going to say this one, but, you know, these people here, I don't, I don't want to call them white. I don't like calling them white because it's kind of, I'm being a racist. I don't know. I don't know if I call them white. I don't, I don't know which word to use. The white people. I'm just going to use the white people, but <laughs> I'm not being a racist. I'm just talking. Yeah. So, um, what, what is happening here? I don't know. It's a stain. Yeah, so another is small talks and smile. You know, these people here, they have they have that culture that I'm, I've never seen someone so angry like these white people. I've never seen them so angry. Like, you know, they get furious like us in Kenya. You find someone walking on the street and someone is like, their face has wrinkles. Someone is like mad. Here, people, you can walk on the street and someone can just smile at you like, a smile you can say hello and he's like she's like he or she's like hello how are you like just a small talk with a lot of smile on their face which seem, which shows you that wow this person like i don't know how it happens but i really try the same thing because i'm here i have to do that and i don't have to like just just be seated there and like someone smiles at first I, even at work oh my goodness I used to complain to my to my sister. I'm like, Faith, I, I've just been smiling the whole day at work. I'm so angry. I'm not getting anything at work. And someone is smiling at you. You're like, you have to smile. I used to smile. I used to smile at work. I used to smile everywhere. It's only at home that I never used to smile that much as work. You know, when someone passes by, you have to like, you have to even bend your head and like, <laughs> my dear was shocked i'm like now what if 1000 people pass like one person passes and they're like <laughs> one i used even to fake smiles i used to fake smiles because i just can't smile for like 50 people in the same in the same team i, I just got tired of smiling and i'm like <laughs> most of the times i could fake you're going to the bathroom and you meet someone on the mirror and they're like Hello, and you're like, hello, you have to fake. Even when you are so tired, like, they just smile and you can't ignore smiling back. I used to smile, 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 smile. Ah, go home and complain. Faith, my, I used to complain mostly to my mom when we are seated all of us. I'm like, me, I'm tired of smiling. <laughs> you have to smile back. You just have to smile back. Now I started getting used to, getting used to. And if you guys can still see on my videos, when I do a video and I meet someone, like when I'm shooting and I meet someone, I always smile or just bend my head, just like that. And that's it. I never talked. I, I don't know if I'm talking differences between Kenya and US. I don't know if I'm talking about culture shock. I'm just going to combine them together. Um, Yeah, because I am just not going to shoot another video. Like I'm not gonna shoot another video for culture shock i'm just gonna combine them together culture shock and um the differences between kenya and the u.s i'm just gonna combine them i just noticed right now that i'm just mixing them up but if you are brave if you are intelligent enough your iq is you can know which is culture shock and which is <laughs> another thing is an <laughs> food <laughs> Food. I thank God my parents were Kenyan, so I was able to eat food. I was able to eat food. I was able to eat Kenyan food, mostly Kenyan food, ugali, uh, managu, a lot of food, like a lot of Kenyan food. You know what I mean? But I, I, in our house, I didn't. I don't remember if we ever cooked something, like. Actually, no, honestly speaking, see, we used to eat together, we used to eat kale, we used to eat collards, we used to eat, we like, we mix cilantro and sukuma, like, a lot of things. But when it came to work, I'm like, no, the first day I'm, I'm going to work, I'm like, no, me, I'm not going to carry, I'm not, I want, just want to go and see what people are eating there, not eating, what people are eating. 
you see language communication your language your pronunciation of what is so poor emily you have to like do something about <laughs> eating i'm like no i want to go i want to go there and see what people are eating so that i can know what i'll bring to my i was so scared even carrying anything to work because i was so scared what what will they say like you know it's your first day to work and when i went for my interview and my tour i was so shocked that actually i was the only person who was black that's when i said me i want to quit this job i don't want to go to work i said no actually i said no i said me i'm not going to work or me i'm not going to work i only saw um wait i didn't see any black and i need someone to talk to <laughs> me 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 i said no me i'm not going to work because of that like everybody's white and you are the only black then you know you are you are you you know what you are capable of doing and what you are not like your language the communication you know it's much better if maybe i got a one black like you know even if it's a black american like but i was the only person and we had like 12 teams in my workplace so another culture shock is obsession with girls and grocery stores i'm writing them down i'm just reading them i just can't memorize everything i was writing them down so obsession with guns and grocery stores like even even if you go to the store you will find guns you will find people having guns when they are walking you'll find people having guns in their house but in kenya hey hey if you are found with a gun my dear you are locked inside the police so oh, you are locked inside the police to explain what we were doing with the gun but here people get you register your gun i don't know you pay for it you pay tax you pay insurance something like that because i saw a gun at our home I'm just saying i'm just saying the truth i saw a gun at our home back then cambridge that's something obsession with guns you can find people having guns on their on their pockets on their on their cars inside they, like people are obsession with cars and guns you're like this person is gonna shoot you no baby no darling no sweetie no sweetie they are not gonna shoot you have done nothing you know yeah but I don't want to talk about some i don't want i don't want to touch anything that is related with racism i don't really want to talk about i don't want to talk about it this video might go viral and i'm like i don't want to die i love myself so much yeah um language communication uh, hmm. this is sugarly foods sugarly foods artificial flavored foods if you go to the store in kenya they call it a supermarket but here we call it a store in you if you go to the store if you go to the supermarket you'll find a lot of flavored food a lot of food that has a lot of oil come here and see people are fat in kenya you are, you are not even people are not that fat come here and see people are fat people eat a lot of sugarly foods like like crazy like i even sorry I even got i even started eating junk food a lot of junk food i'm like i want to go to mcdonald's i want to go i actually <laughs> nicknamed mcdonald's my church i'm like i want to go to my church i want to go bring pizza i want to eat i used to eat but at first it wasn't like i never liked the food at first i was like oh i don't want to take burger but right now give me burger and then i'll show you how burger is handled with a black woman <laughs> yeah um attitude and customs i don't have to explain that that's much easy for you guys you know <laughs> this is serious now this is serious so um i think i'm done i'm um, just gonna get back to this and say something before you end the video please like share subscribe and press the notification bell to be notified once i upload any good video so i don't know what to say i wish i had photos to share but i don't actually most of the times i don't edit my video so bye see you